We tend to take for granted that we're here. I imagine planet Earth orbiting the sun at a distance comparable to Venus, leaving no possibility of water in its 850 degree weather, no life as we know it. Or how about one of the infinite catastrophes that could end our species, like Joey accidentally slipping the nuclear codes to the wrong person. True international average of pressure. No end of quote. Repeat the line. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot him uh, foot, foot. We are here though, for now at least. Earth's habitability will one day come to an end as abruptly as FTX. Even if we are able to expand our existence interplanetary, we aren't quite sure what's next for the universe. Evidence suggests that all space and time seems to come to an end, leaving no trace of our current information, no legends or legacies, no records of anything. If that's the case, why do so many of us focus on how we can have our names remembered? That's why no one will remember your name. We work towards being successful, a term society defines in so many ways, but subconsciously uses only to mask the word rich. Why though? Is monetary wealth success? Well, it's freedom to buy what you want, do more of what you want. Only for a very brief period though. What good are any resources when we're gone? And what legacy matters if no matter exists? Well, we don't quite know that we can't find solutions. Solving individual human mortality seems reasonable at this point, but how do we transverse the universe? Or live through a collapsed universe? We must solve problems in order to answer unknown questions. Our mission is to share fundamental, objective information in efforts to inspire solutions that contribute to extending humanity's existence in the universe. Comment, like, subscribe, and follow us for ongoing content. Check out our merch at referenceframe.space.